So if you play video games or especially play them often, chances are there's probably been a game where you've put dozens if not hundreds of hours into this game, yet for whatever reason you low-key still despise it. Or at least it seems like that's the case for a lot of people. Now this is something that I've definitely felt, but I wasn't ever really sure why that was. I've even asked some other people about it and it seems like it's a common feeling, but no one really knows why it is. So in today's video, I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of this and figure out why so many people hate the games that they play most. Alright, so to start off, I asked some of y'all in the Discord about some of the games you hate but still play and why y'all think that is. Alright, so first First we got Call of Duty, Fortnite, and Minecraft. This guy said any FPS game, which definitely seems like those are usually the games associated with this whole idea. We got like two people in here who said Valorant and they both agreed that it was because of its community. We got NBA 2K24 and this guy actually dropped his stats. So yeah, 54 days for a game you hate is actually wild to me. This guy said Rust, which is a game that uh, one of my friends actually mentioned too. And then the last two games are kind of self-explanatory, but it's Call of Duty and Overwatch. All right, so now that I asked y'all what y'all think, now I'm gonna be getting to the reasons why I think people People play games that they hate. Alright, so starting out, we got the idea that popular games are bad. Now, this whole idea doesn't even apply to just video games because you see it like everywhere in media, like especially in the music industry. I mean, this is something that even I see with my own channel. Like when I post a video and it has like 20,000 views or less, like almost all the comments are just like straight up support comments, like, bro, you're so underrated. And then once you get to a certain threshold, then that's where like all the your underrated comments start going away. And then at some point, people just start being mean, like, bro, what did I do to you? But yeah, I think the exact same thing applies to video games as well. Like, even if you think about some of the most popular games of all time that like are considered to be classics and like some of the best games ever even they will get like a lot of hate just because they're popular and just everyone plays them now the next reason which is arguably probably one of the biggest is got to be nostalgia so we all have those games that remind us of back when life was good like for me the two most important and life-changing games are probably minecraft and call of duty i do think sometimes people genuinely prefer things from older games like the art style mechanics story or gameplay of course but i feel like a lot of people are attached to these games not even because they were actually that good but also because people associate good memories from around that time in their life when they were actually playing that game now this is where these old nostalgic games can take a turn some of them will just stay the same forever and people will revisit them whether it's for the gameplay or just to relive child memories on the other hand a lot of these nostalgic games actually do change and evolve throughout the years like minecraft call of duty and even fortnite for example back then these games were so different from the versions you see today the issue is is that you can only go back and relive some of these older games to a certain extent because generally all the hype and people are going to play whatever is newest so for some of these multiplayer games especially it's just not going to hit the same as when it was in its prime while yeah some of these games do legit get worse over time whether it was from updates or just bad releases or whatever it is i do feel like a lot of these people just cling on to the older games for like other reasons than its actual gameplay or even if they do prefer an old game for its gameplay or whatever it is i do see people tend to reject like anything that changes or steers away from what they loved before so this brings me into the next topic which is that people like these games overall but get frustrated or despise certain things about the game like updates for example now this is another very common one that i personally feel very heavy but i see this even more of some other communities it seems like this is especially an issue within the competitive or live service games that are constantly adding stuff and tweaking little things like sometimes these games will be actual flames and then all it takes is one ass update to ruin the entire experience usually though i think it's generally a long process of bad updates that consistently keep dropping to the point where people just slowly start to get frustrated with the game but at the same time they've probably been playing for so long that they already gained an attack or trust with the game that they're playing it also seems like some people are just frustrated with the developers themselves because a lot of them just don't give a shit about their community now this also goes hand in hand with gaming communities now as y'all know we got some interesting communities like uh for example call of duty fortnite valorant csgo overwatch and of course the goat league of legends now i halfway understand this there's some games where the community directly has an effect on the games you play for example if you're playing like a team game that needs communication like that actually makes sense to me but with some games like fortnite for example i don't really see why it matters that much because 99 percent of the time you're either just playing by yourself or with your own squad in cases like this i think it's low-key more about the reputation of the game and i think people just get embarrassed from some of these communities but even if they have no impact on the actual game itself it's not just the players or the community itself though a big part of it is also also actually just the content creators these youtubers and streamers or whatever are basically like the faces of these games and they probably have the biggest impact on the game the community and its reputation because whether y'all realize it or not streamers and youtubers have an insane influence on people i mean there's people who will religiously watch a single creator every single day for hours to the point where people basically build these like fake relationships with them so yeah if a creator says a certain thing about a game or has a bad reputation that's not only going to directly carry through these communities but it also affects 
the reputation of the game and its community. Now, a huge reason that I think some of these people play these games that they hate is simply just because they're in too deep. Well, maybe not simply because there's actually a lot of ways that people get into these situations and I'm definitely guilty of some of these. So the first reason is because of time spent. I think a lot of people probably enjoyed the process of getting into some of these games and learning about them, but maybe started disliking a certain aspect of the game later down the line, whether it was because of boredom or bad updates or really just anything. The problem is, is that by then you've already invested so much time into a game that you might as well just keep playing it because if you quit you lose everything that you've worked for another way i think people get locked in is simply because of money if you're dropping 70 dollars on a game and then you start playing it and you're not really feeling it i mean chances are you're still going to play because it's like you spent 70 dollars of your hard-earned money on that game so it's like yeah it's kind of just a guilt thing even for free to play games or just live service games in general a lot of people will spend hundreds of dollars in game on stuff like skins or whatever it is so yeah i think that's also a big reason why people get locked into these games so while it's generally considered a bad thing for these games to be hated by their players there's also some cases where i think some of these games are meant to be hated like on purpose this is actually something that a friend brought up to me because he brought up the souls games when uh mentioning games that are like unenjoyable when you play So with games like these, the whole point of the game is to make you want to jump off a cliff 99% of the time. And this is because when you actually do beat a boss or do whatever it is in these games, that's when the dopamine smacks the f*** out of you. Because this is what you just spent hours of your life trying to accomplish. So yeah, basically there's a whole genre of these games where the entire premise is basically just for them to be unenjoyable 99% of the time. So that is super rewarding when you actually do get to win or do whatever it is. I actually haven't played any of the Souls games, so uh, if y'all want to watch me do that, let me know. But a game that reminds me of this that I have wasted hours of my life playing is a uh, geometry dash while i'm playing it i genuinely hate my life and am miserable the whole time and on top of that listening to the same song on repeat for hours it gets my brain tired but like after you spend two months trying to get through a level and you finally do it that's got to be the best feeling in the world these games are like built to be terribly addicting yet terribly unenjoyable at the same time so speaking of addicting video game addiction is a huge low-key reason why people play games they hate so yes i know it kind of was a meme with the whole video game disorder thing and all that but if we're being honest some of us genuinely have an addiction. Now, it's hard to describe exactly what makes someone a video game addict, but just taking a look at what being an addict means in general. In the 808 dictionary, I would say that being a video game addict means you have a strong, constant, unstoppable urge to play video games, even if you have a negative relationship with them or if it gets in the way of actual real world responsibilities. Honestly, I think the sad truth is that this is more common than most of us realize. For the majority of people, including myself, video games are a form of escapism. And that's not necessarily a bad thing in itself because a lot of us just have have stuff going on and video games are like a perfect solution to have fun and take your mind away from whatever is going on i think where the problem lies is that some of these people rely on video games too much and they use it as a way to almost like fully escape reality and like their responsibilities and this is why the majority of hardcore gamers tend to stick to one game because that's a game they spend hundreds of hours learning and becoming attached to so when something goes wrong with these games like bad updates for example or them just messing up the game that they rely on that's low-key like messing with someone's addiction which in my opinion could definitely explain a big reason why people play these games that they hate especially with competitive games in some cases this could even just straight up be depression i mean when you're depressed everything you used to enjoy usually just becomes boring and feels pointless yet people still have that attachment to these games which makes people play these games even though they're miserable while playing it so yeah in some cases i feel like it's not even just about these games but also about the people and just the stuff going on around them now me personally i've pretty much experienced all these reasons myself but it took a while for me to really figure out why that was and just from asking around it seems like a lot of people who play these games and hate it don't even know why that is either for example Call of Duty has always been one of my go-to games since I was a kid. I can't exactly describe what it was because like back then the game was actually enjoyable for me to play and also had a super strong community back then even though it was toxic. At some point though I think me and other people started to realize that the game was slowly dipping in quality with every release that came out until it almost felt like a completely different game that lacked all the charm and community it used to have. For pretty much like the last eight years every time a new COD is about to come out people still today think that the next COD that comes out is going to save COD or bring it back to how it was before. But deep down we all know that it's just going to be the same thing as the last year just slightly changed like by now i think call of duty figured out the iphone strategy i just think that nostalgia is straight up just getting people hooked on these games with hopes that it's going to return to how it used to be even though it never actually does let me know down in the comments if y'all have ever had a similar experience and if so let me know why y'all still play these games because it seems like everyone has a different opinion or answer on why that is yeah if y'all enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like and subscribe and join the discord for a chance to be a part of these videos and uh yeah peace